I'm really hungry, but I'm not in the mood. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. You may wonder why I am covered in dust, but I'm actually starting a bit of a new segment on this channel where I will be upcycling furniture and doing a few little bits in my house. So I wanted to bring you along with me. I'm filming this after I've started sanding. I was meant to film the intro before, but yeah, I just thought, I thought this would be something quite fun and exciting that you guys can kind of join me on and see the progress. So this one is a bookshelf that I am upcycling. So let's get going. guys so I have sanded everything down what I'm gonna do now is just go in with the small sander and I am just gonna make sure that everything's kind of perfect so then once I've done that I can get on to painting paint colour that we have chosen. <gasps> I'm so excited. So I finished the set, the first coat yesterday and this is what it's currently looking like. So this is just one coat of the Furniture Velvety Smooth Paint. I love the colour that it's turned out but you can definitely tell more on the closer up kind of areas that it needs a bit of a, a go over with another coat. So. So I'm just going to get everything set up and I'm going to do the second coat now and then once the second coat's dry I can hopefully stick the marble on and we will be done. <laughs>
Hey guys, so today I am going to do the marble adhesive on the back of the um, on the back of the bookshelf. So I think this is going to be a bit of a difficult one. So you're going to have to bear with me on this one. So let's go and get it going. So here I am. <laughs> what I am aiming to do is to put a marble adhesive all on the back bits of this here so I'm gonna look at removing the back piece there's a few screws in the back I have never done anything like this before so if any of you are pros please <laughs> do not judge my um what's the word my methods I'm going to just try my best to make this happen so yeah I'm gonna remove the back or attempt to stick the marble to the back and then see how we get on <laughs> Right, so it's looking like I can't remove the backboard without causing too much damage so I think I'm just going to have to cut the marble adhesive to size which is not what I wanted to do because it won't leave it with like the best finish but I'm going to give that the best go that I can so come with me on this journey. So the marble background is done. I've just had to add a few little bits of paint from where I have kind of scuffed the paint when I have been putting the marble in. The marble's a bit wonky but this is my first attempt at doing this so as it goes I am quite pleased with myself so yeah time to get it, let it dry then I will get it in the house. And this is the finished kind of location of the bookshelf for a while. I can't seem to find anywhere in the living room to put it so I have decided to put it at the bottom of our stairs and start to fill it up. It's not as full as I'd like it to be for now but on the bookshelf I've started with my Alice in Wonderland little teapot. and then my Alice in Wonderland prints and then some books some kind of like colouring stuff I'm going to fill that up with notepads and then on the bottom I'm going to put some kind of ornaments and some pictures I hope you have enjoyed this type of video obviously it is something a little bit different I am I am going to try and start doing a few more of these, so obviously if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up. If you've ever done any kind of like upcycling videos, link them in the comment section below so I can take a look at them. And if there's anything that you'd like to see me upcycle let me know as well. Thank you for watching, I will see you guys soon.